This week marks 20 years since the U.S. invasion of Iraq, and many are still piecing together what happened in those days and the years that followed. NewsHour digital senior editor Yasmin Alamiri spoke to Sena Morani of the University of Plymouth in England about Rupture Domesticity, a project that collects the memories and artifacts of Iraqis during the war and how they held on to the concept of home. You headed up um, a, a multi-part project, part of which is, is archiving these memories of the war for Iraqis who were living inside and outside the country during that time. Can you talk to us a little bit about why you decided to pursue this project and, and what came of it? Something that I really wanted to understand is what was happening across the country when Baghdad was getting bombarded during the 2003 invasion. I had no idea. We were in Baghdad, but I did not know what was going on in Mosul, what was going on in Basra, what was going on elsewhere. So the archive idea came because I really wanted the world to see this. I wanted it to be the collective voice of Iraqis. War is traumatic for everybody involved. And when you have years, decades of war, what you end up with is generational trauma. I wonder about how that enduring trauma has impacted the way that Iraqis interact with the country, but also their memory or their understanding of what it means to be Iraqi. Through the conversations that I've had with Iraqis from the north to the south of Iraq, they kept on coming back to this thing of, we never documented what was going on to us at the time. We don't have records, especially during the 2003 invasion, when uh, mobile phones and cameras, digital cameras, weren't readily, readily available for people. So there was this thing of um, trauma that lingers, trauma that is carried with you, and it resurfaces in very different ways. It sometimes resurfaces in PTSD, which we've seen it, you know, across the world um, uh, happening with, with people engaged in, in, in wars in Iraq and elsewhere, but also in collective creative outlet of that, where you see a burst of cultural um, uh, belongings and, and, and tendency to want to make change happen. As an Iraqi who has lived outside of the country as well, what does it mean to you to be Iraqi? It changes. So um, I, I kind of remember when I first came out of Iraq, when people used to ask me the question, my answer was very different to what it is, what it is now, right now. I find it in the connections to um, the beautiful music, to the wonderful food that we have, to the language that is spoken from the gut with passion, um, to the, uh, the kind of the Iraqi humor that is uh, retrieved and found and kind of emerges in your face in the darkest of times. I, I see myself an Iraqi right in the center of, of, of all of that. Um, so it is a tapestry, but I, I, I kind of feel that this is always going to be in the making. It's, it's never gonna have a form or an end to its making. And, and I love that about it, but there is certainly a yearning for um, a home that I kind of, it's always going to be there and it's never going to fade for me. And that was just part of Yasmin's conversation with Sana Morani. You can watch the full version and see more from Morani's project online at pbs.org newshour.